Why, what makes Westerners so interested in ISKCON, Krishna and Vaishnavism? So I can tell a, a little bit about my story. When I was a teenager, uh, somehow or another, I got uh, struck by wonder with some basic questions in life, like uh, why am I born from particular parents? Why am I born from particular in a particular country? And um, what is this uh, theater kind of world that I'm living in? Why does it came about? Uh, I, I don't remember having a choice myself that I want to be in this particular situation. So this, and one wonderful thing was that nobody talks about it even though these are the most interesting questions in the world. So people who uh, come to the spiritual life, uh, <clears throat> they have a good fortune of uh, wondering these kind of basic questions. And then when they come to the uh, philosophy, um, uh, come across with the philosophy that uh, explains about these uh, um, primeval things of uh, existence. Mm, that is one of the things that m makes them interesting, interested. And in ISKCON, that is a whole package of everything. There is the philosophy and there is the practice. And uh, <coughs> often we um, make a note that uh, uh, even though somebody may say that uh, they come to ISKCON because of the philosophy and uh, they are great thinkers, but, but uh, many times it actually is that is uh, uh, devotees come because of prasadam, uh, the food or food stuff offered to Lord Krishna. Because the prasadam food, spiritualized food, is so tasty and um, so special. Uh, it has a special taste because it is offered to Lord Krishna. That pulls them to Krishna consciousness, ultimately. Hare Krishna.